Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a new magic trick. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so we have someone pick a card. Say they pick this card here. Completely free choice. Say they pick the nine of diamonds. Right there. So, oh, okay. Get it lost in the deck somewhere. Oh. So now, now we know that it's completely gone, somewhere random, we don't know where it is. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is, this is your card here, right? <laughs> the nine of diamonds. I need somebody here. Go ahead and push that card in for him. So when you push that card in, not there anymore. It's up here. So this one you know, you actually need to have. Um, it's it's good for like a ambitious card routine. That's what I usually use it in. So I have their card. It's usually signed or whatever. Take it to the top. So it's on the top now. Once it's on the top, you can do multiple things. You can do a you can do a double lift, and then um, or I mean yeah, you can do like a you can do like a double lift, and then when you do the double lift, just change the card into their card or whatever, and then double lift it back, double lift it back over, and then take that card, <coughs> put it here, put it in their hands, say snap your fingers, the card comes back to the top. So for this one, it's the it's very nice. Um, so their card's on top right here. Now what you do is with your with the, whatever hand that you hold the deck in mechanics grip you get pinky break under I mean on top of the last card. So you have the last card right here. So you can see like that. So you have it like that and their card's on top right here. Eight of that, eight of hearts. What I do is I cut it over and uh, actually I'll show you this part first. So you have this right here and you're gonna transfer that you're gonna transfer that into you're gonna transfer that into a thumb break so there's still that huge break under the card so you swing cut half the deck over so there's a thumb break under this card and that card's here so what you do is you you open the card up and then you show in that card and as you're showing that card you're gonna take you're gonna take this and you're gonna grab that bottom card because they think that their card is on top so and it was until you put that there and then you smash it in and then they think that the card on top is there now and then you do a fan say hey push this in for me and when they push it in all you're doing is you're just, you're just taking it up and putting it in your mouth like that so while they're pushing it in you put this in your mouth or you can make it go somewhere else. You can put it in your pocket. You can put it in somebody's purse or something like that. Make it appear somewhere that they would never suspect it. So let's do this again. So select spectator. Picks out a card. The Jack of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds. <coughs> Control that card at the top somehow. How many other ways you want to do it? There's a billion different ways to control and force cards. So you draw the card at the top, jack of diamonds, and then you it's you usually do other routines first, like you do other ambitious routines, like you do the with the color change or something like that, like that, and then um, take the top card and put it down here, have them push it in. They pushed it in. They think their card's in, the, in there, but it's actually right here. So um, you can do all different kinds of things. And then next, remember what you do is you grab a break under the bottom card, I mean on top of the bottom card, so underneath the entire deck except the last card. Turn it, transfer that into a thumb break, just like that, and then when you do that, you just swing cut over, show them that their card is on top, and as you're showing them that their card is on top, you put this card, the bottom of the card that was on the bottom of the middle grip packet, this is a middle grip, and Smash it in. Don't don't flash this because then they're gonna know that it's not that card. Smash it in. 
Then you do finger spread, I mean a one hand spread, put it in the middle, tell them to push it in and as they're doing that, you just slowly slide this up and put it in your mouth or make it appear wherever. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, a lot of people use that trick. I've seen Dynamo, I've seen David Blaine, I've seen Chris Angel do it. Um, Jarek120 does it. <coughs> and he is uh, my idol, so, you know. And that's, that's it, pretty much. Just have a good day, everybody. Have a good day.